Hello everyone, uh, Lindsay here. Uh, as you know, since you're clearly watching my Facebook or YouTube channel. I uh, haven't made a via, uh, video in a while, so I thought I would put one together from a recent trip um, to eastern North Carolina to photograph the winter waterfowl migration. Um, that consists of uh, snow geese and tundra swans are, I guess, like the uh, the superstars of the migration here in eastern North Carolina. And then there's, you know, dozens of different duck species, everything from pintails to widgeons to mergansers, buffles, all kinds. Well, uh, the woman who runs the Bird Watching North Carolina Facebook group calls it Weird Duck Season. You know, which is, I think, fairly correct. Um, so me and a buddy went down there to see what we could see uh, as far as the, you know, mostly snow geese and uh, tundra swans. Um, we were not disappointed. Uh, we probably saw 30 to 40,000 uh, snow geese, and then you figure another 10 to 20,000 tundra swans. So, and they put on a great show for us. And I compiled some video that I'm going to share with you uh, in this video. Uh, there'll be a little bit of voiceover, maybe. Um, it's not going to be a terribly long video. It's just something, you know, 2021 has been uh, kind of kicked off with a a hell of a bang so this will just be something kind of uh, hopefully fun and relaxing and uh, you know you can just enjoy the uh, the majesty and beauty of it all um, you know we're going to be releasing more videos in the future um, it's almost bear season the bear cubs are being born you know starting uh, middle of February and this year's cubs will be born I'm incredibly excited for bear season um, we are inching closer. Uh, in a few weeks, I have a, uh, a big duck trip that's going to be focused on ducks and hopefully owls. Please, owls. Like, everyone cross your fingers now and say whatever prayers to whatever deities you believe in. Or if you don't, good vibes um, for some owls um, and ducks. Like I said, that's going to be coming up in a few weeks. Uh, there will be a video about that, uh, hopefully. My video setup is a little... Uh, better now I have a, a better rig for it unfortunately the the software I was using on my Mac uh, my Mac blew up basically so I'm using a Windows and the built-in so video editing software isn't as good so uh, you know there is that the quality I can only export I think 720p and uh, you know it's just uh, there's not as much functionality there but we're working on fixing that too we got you know give me time one thing at a time here I'm not sponsored and I don't get paid to do this uh, unless someone wants to write me a check. Carnhart, I wear a lot of your clothing. Get in touch with me. Send me money or clothing. Um, but I hope everyone's having a good, as good as possible beginning of the year. It's going to get better. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. Turn off the news at least four times a day. Uh, really, you can just leave it off at this point. You know, leave it, turn it on like for an hour a week. Uh, it's depressing enough. Uh, if you're hearing, you know, social distance, wash your hands, and we will get through this. Um, if you're in school, good luck on the semester. I need all the luck I can get. I'm a senior now, so uh, I'll, I have to decide what's next, which I'm putting off by going to take pictures of ducks in a few weeks, so we're good. Um, thank you all for watching. Um, Tar Heel Wildlife Photography on Facebook, Tar Heel Wild Photos on Instagram, Tar Heel Wildlife Photography on YouTube. Um, I still don't have a website. I keep threatening a website, and it's going to happen this year, but I just haven't done it. Um, I mean, yeah, whatever. Uh, thank you, and have a wonderful rest of your day. A few quick facts about tundra swans is that they migrate here every winter from the Arctic Circle in um, far northern Canada. They do typically mate for life, and they raise one young per year, uh, generally. Uh, they are very territorial, especially when they're in uh, mating season, which that's they do do that in um, Canada. But when they are traveling and migrating, they tend to be in uh, groups, some as large as 100,000. Um, this day that you're seeing the photo and the video of, we probably saw twenty to 30,000 tundra swans. Uh, 
They are very, they are very, um, you know, gorgeous bird. The subadults or juveniles have a grayish head. So when you're looking at the video and picture, you can kind of identify them. The male and females are a lot more difficult to distinguish when it's they are adults. Um, and that's just a quick few facts about them. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone, I'm Lindsay again with Tar Heel Wildlife Photography. Um, a few quick facts actually now about snow geese. Um, I don't know a lot about them other than they have they are the same range um, as the tundra swans. And they migrate here in even larger numbers than the tundra swans each year. Um, they don't mate for life. They're more like, you know, atypical geese. Um, they're not as uh, magnificent, I guess, as, the, as regal as the tundra swans. But something that they do um, impress with is like their aerial acrobatics, which you'll see in the video of the what's called the takeoff shot or the explosion shot. That's just really fun to watch. We probably saw 40,000 of them in our, during our time there. Thank you. How big are they compared to the Smaller. 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 Small, short and stubby. What do you do with your camera when it rains? It's weather sealed. Yeah. Um, before I had weather sealed, take you a Walmart bag and just cut out a hole that way your lens can go through it. Yeah. 